Welcome to the Bro Down, everybody. Our first big event here on DCW A Night, where Matt Riddle will take on Johnny Gargano for the World Heavyweight Championship. We've got four incredible matches for you here tonight. This crowd is amped up. I'm amped up. And we are kicking things off here tonight with one of our three title matches here tonight. We have the main event of Matt Riddle versus Johnny Gargano, but we're kicking things off with the tag team titles matchup it is going to be the war raiders taking on the street profits i know it says wwe smackdown tag team titles but it's actually the dcw tag team titles they just have the same color scheme as the dcw so we're using them for now until the creative championship is put back in but yeah this is going to be an exciting matchup so this is a title match meaning up there in the right hand corner we will have a 30 minute time limit unlike our usual 15 minute time limits Look at that, very nice. Taunting your opponent before engaging in battle. A sign of respect here in DCW, as always. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. This is actually sort of like a rematch from uh, our NXT Universe mode. The War Raiders actually won the NXT Tag Team titles from the Street Profits in the final episode of that Universe mode, and now the Street Profits are challenging for the DCW Tag Team titles. And also, like I said, I'm using the SmackDown Tag Team titles for the DCW Tag Team titles. Uh, that'll be the same way with the other championships in the Universe Mode for right now. So the SmackDown Tag Team titles will be our Tag Team titles. Uh, the Women's Championship is going to be the SmackDown Women's Championship, considering I like the white uh, belt and also the blue matches the DCW color scheme. And then for our main championship, I am going to be using the classic Big Gold Belt for Johnny Gargano's DCW World Heavyweight Championship. Although, after tonight, will it be Johnny Gargano's World Heavyweight Championship? That will be the question, as Montez Ford, now in the ring with, uh, who is that, Eric? Or Ivar? I think it's Eric. Well, either way, now it's not uh, Montez Ford in the ring, it's Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford working together with beautiful tag team maneuvers like that. Now, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford are one hell of an up-and-coming tag team here in this universe mode. As they were on the NXT universe mode, they finally reached that mountaintop, only to be toppled over by the War Raiders. And the War Raiders are definitely one team that you do not want to take lightly. The Street Profits are definitely going to have to bring everything they got and more here tonight. Although, if the time limit of 30 minutes is to expire... Then it looks like we might have to call this matchup as a draw. Perhaps maybe have a, another matchup at a later date. But Angelo Dawkins just trying to ground Eric. Okay, it said his name right there. It's Eric. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. The War Raiders looking for the fallout finishing maneuver. Dawkins and Ford trying to hit their combo of the Spine Buster and the Frog Splash. Look at this. War Raiders taking control again. Montez Ford. Ooh, trying to reach for a tag. And Eric and Ivar now trying to cut the ring in half. Very smart tag team. Oh, man! Tag team maneuvers here. Ford now trying to go up top. And look at this. Ford got caught by Eric. Oh, Spear! Oh, my God! And Eric caught Angelo Dawkins with a forearm. Dawkins was trying to hit him with the spear. And this may be the beginning of the end. Whoop. Pop up. Hansen. Springboard. Clothesline. Normally you don't think of a big man like Hansen doing the springboard moves. Two. Whoa, and a kick out. Where is Montez Ford going? Montez Ford is trying to get out of the arena. And I, I, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to try and cover that. That was a glitch. That was a glitch in the Matrix. But the Street Profits trying to look for a glitch in the War Raiders Matrix so that they can come out as the new DCW Tag Team Champions. Oop, Montez Ford retreating to the apron. Angelo Dawkins now back in control over Hansen. Big back suplex. Now we got the huge Hoss fight here. Angelo Dawkins and Hansen, the two bigger men of the team, although... Uh, what is going on with Angelo Dawkins? Something is wrong with the wiring the Street Profits here tonight. Are we sure they're not robots? I don't know, because Montez Ford was running into the ropes, and then Angelo Dawkins was, like, focused on attacking Eric, even though Eric wasn't the legal man. I don't know. 
the War Raiders, uh, hey, maybe this is uh, uh, a battle of the generations. The War Raiders are more like that Viking style of fighting, and then the Street Profits might quite possibly be robots. It's the past versus the future here. Ooh, at the bro down. And we also have, coming up, we have Braun Strowman versus Cesaro in singles competition. And then the Tag Team Championship matchup is our first title matchup of the night. Our next title matchup will be the Women's Championship. Bianca Belair defending against Shayna Baszler. And here we go. Hansen after a big splash off the middle rope. Still not enough to put away Angelo Dawkins. Montez Ford was knocked off the apron. Smart tag team antics there. And Hansen... Another suplex knee buster to the face. Angelo Dawkins has now been in there for a majority of the matchup. Ooh, man. Montez Ford. He's got to get back up on that apron, man. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, Eric just muscling up Angelo Dawkins. Cover one. Ooh. And Dawkins somehow, someway able to stay alive. The Street Profits want the smoke. And see, look at that. Montez Ford once again. Oh, my God. Seems like he's gotten his wiring together finally, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. The Street Profits, they are working just crazy right now. I don't know what the heck is going on with them. I mean, for somehow, some way, it was working for a second. Montez Ford got them the early advantage. The Street Profits trying to work back into tandem here. And look at that. Eric just tossing. Angelo Dawkins into the corner of the Street Profits. Oh, and taking out both members of the Street Profits. Whoop. Eric sending Angelo Dawkins into the corner. Dawkins, great counter. Sending Eric into the Street Profits corner. No! Meets him with a shoulder tackle. Trying to create some separation. He makes the tag. Tag into Montez Ford. Ford is now the legal man in the match. Oh, and Montez Ford scaring off Hansen, it seemed like. Knocking him off the apron. Clothesline to the back of the head of Eric. Montez Ford is a fiery ball of fury here at the bro down. And look at this. Oh, both members collide. Eric is going to have to tag in Hansen. Montez Ford off the ropes into a forearm. The tag team titles. Defended by one of the very best tag teams in our division. And look at this, Montez Ford. Power slam to Eric. Ford's going to have to stick with these high-impact moves here. Once again, another scoop slam. And Montez Ford, come on, Ford, stop taunting. Oh, whoa, makes the tag. Hanson. Wait, was that a tag? I don't know if... Was it a tag? I don't think it was. The referee is not allowing Hanson to get in the ring. I, I don't think that was a tag. What in the world is going on? I'm guessing Eric tried to reach out for his hand and it just wasn't far enough towards him. Look at that. Montez Ford now giving Hanson an opportunity to tag in. But the, the War Raiders are not allowing... Oh, man! The Street Profits to get inside their heads. Look at this, Montez Ford taking out both members of the War Raiders. Elbow drop to Hansen. And he has Eric down. I don't know, Eric, Ivar, who cares? They could be known as former tag team champions. But Eric luckily got the knees up. And a big back suplex. Oh my god. Tossing Montez Ford like a rag doll. The Street Profits thought they won the tag team titles right there with that frog splash. Uh oh. Oh, oh man, and Montez Ford might have just lost some teeth. Man. And you gotta wonder what this is doing to the psyche of Bianca Belair, the NXT or the DCW women's champion. That's her husband in there, Montez Ford. But she cannot focus on her husband here tonight. She's gotta focus on Shayna Baszler. The War Raiders. Oh, they look a little gassed. Look a little gassed here in this matchup. War Raiders trying to put away the Street Profits. Oh, Montez Ford, great counter. Forearm smash of his own. Going to try and tag in Angelo Dawkins. Here we go. And Dawkins. Oh, 
knocking Hansen off the apron. Hansen taken out of the equation. Angelo Dawkins takes him over. Next snap. And Eric is on wobbly legs. Angelo Dawkins, forearm to the face, straight punch to the jaw. And this could be all she wrote. Oh, forearm smash. Bulldog. The Street Profits working in tandem here. A great set of maneuvers. And once again, Hansen taken off the top. Angelo Dawkins looks to fly. Here we go. Big splash to Hansen. And Montez Ford drop kick to the back of the neck of Eric. The Street Profits could steal the tag team title right here. Pop up spine buster by Angelo Dawkins. Come on, get the damn replay off. We could have new tag team champions right here. Cover one, two. Hansen's in and breaks up the pinfall. The Street Profits. Not tag team champions just yet. Come on, An Angelo, make the pin. If Angelo Dawkins pinned Eric again, they could have been the tag team champions. Hansen's completely out, or Ivar is completely out of the equation now. Angelo Dawkins. Oh, trying to bring the fight again. Oh, look out, look out, look out! Death row! Kick to the back of the spine of Angelo Dawkins. Death row! Here we go, cover one, two. Oh, and a kick out by Angelo Dawkins. Montez Ford shouting at his tag team partner to kick out, and thankfully, Angelo Dawkins was able to oblige. Uh-oh. Oh, big suplex. Oh, man. If you if you remember from the NXT Universe mode, Montez Ford suffered one of those belly-to-belly -belly suplexes over the top rope to the floor. That's how they lost the tag team titles. And there goes Ford out to the floor again. And Angelo Dawkins looks to roll up Eric. Eric in trouble. Hansen once again into the ring. And a kick out again. This matchup staying alive. Oh, Hansen. Sending Angelo Dawkins into the corner. Clothesline. Bulldog. The War Raiders are getting a little antsy here. War Raiders look like they're on their way to retaining the tag team titles. Another Superman punch from Eric. Angelo Dawkins is on wobbly legs. And where's Eric going? Eric now sees that Montez Ford is getting back to his feet. Superman punch to Montez Ford. Dawkins is still out in the corner. Hanson grabbing his arm, keeping him at bay. Tag. This could be it. Lining him up for Thor's hammer. Smack dab onto the mat. This is it. Cover one, two, and a three. The Viking Raiders retain the DCW Tag Team titles. What an opening matchup here. Thankfully didn't go to a time limit draw. The Street Profits tried everything, but I guess... I guess their robot uh, wires just glitched out way too much and the War Raiders took advantage. The raid continues for Eric, Ivar, Hansen, Roe, whatever you want to call them. The reign as DCW Tag Team Champions reigns on here for this amazing tag team. Who will be next to challenge Eric and Ivar? Who is the next team to step up to try and take those tag team titles? Well, coming up next, this next matchup is not for a championship. This is more about just two superstars trying to break out on their own. Cesaro, after leaving Sheamus, looks to become a big single star here in DCW. And Braun Strowman, he's been on one hell of a tear ever since even the first episode of DCW. And their matchup ended in a double countout, meaning that this matchup had to happen again here tonight so we can have a definitive winner. Hopefully this matchup doesn't end in a double count out as well, because that would be very annoying. But we have a 15 minute time limit for this, as do all regular DCW singles matches and tag team matches. Oops, Cesaro knocking Braun Strowman out to the floor below, and this is exactly how it happened in their uh, first encounter. Cesaro... Oh my god! Cesaro got dropped! Cesaro got dropped right on the freaking mat below. But yeah, both of these superstars, their first matchup ended in a double countout, leading to this rematch here tonight at the Brodown. Braun Strowman does not want 
another count out here. Oh, Cesaro. Imagine what a victory over Braun Strowman would be for Cesaro. That would put him in big contention for the DCW World title. I mean, heck, this matchup definitely does have implications for that DCW World title. Many of you guys may not know this, but I actually take into account the, the power ranking system in the universe mode for 2K20. I take that into consideration when setting up next challengers for the World Championship. So this could put both of these superstars either higher or lower onto the tier for a championship match. But it all depends on who leaves DCW World Champion here tonight. Johnny Gargano or Matt Riddle. Oh man, Cesaro. Beautiful drop kick to the back of the neck of Braun Strowman. And the King of Swing, the Swiss Superman or Swiss Cyborg. He's got a lot of cool nicknames. Oh, look at this. Walls of Jericho. I mean, am I able to call it that? I don't know. Boston Crab. Let's stick with that. <laughs> Braun Strowman able to power out of it. Oh. Shot to the gut of Cesaro. Sending Cesaro out to the apron. Oh, Cesaro meets him with a big boot right in the mesh. And Cesaro, Strowman on the apron. What is Cesaro going to try here? Cesaro clotheslining Strowman off the apron down to the floor below. And now Cesaro climbing to the top rope. Oh, big splash out to the floor. It's got to be killer on uh, Cesaro's knees, though. And Cesaro trying to lift up Strowman again. Strowman able to counter it off. Strowman now. Oh, lifting up Cesaro and landing him face first onto the apron. Jeez, Strowman is one strong SOB, but Cesaro can withstand the best of them, launching the big man into the barricade. And Cesaro could be trying to go for a count-out win here. Cesaro not trying to get Braun Strowman back in the ring. Referee's at a count of six. Count of seven. Strowman's back up to his feet. And Cesaro now has to continue the fight with Strowman in the ring. Uppercut again to Braun Strowman. Cesaro follows it up with a leg drop. And a knee drop to the head. Strowman... Oh, uh oh, Strowman is angry. Strowman is one angry giant. Cesaro missed with a clothesline. Another back body drop. And Strowman finishes it off. Spine on the pine, spine buster. Strowman running around, calling himself the monster among men. Strowman has Cesaro in position. We could be looking for that huge running tackle that he does around the ring. And Cesaro could be in big, big trouble. As the clock ticks down on the corner, Cesaro may be seen as life flash before his eyes, taken out by Strowman. Vintage Strowman there, running around the ring and taking out his opponents with a huge splash. And the referee continues his count. Strowman getting Cesaro back inside the ring. Braun Strowman could be looking for the running power slam. He's got him up on his shoulders. Cesaro... Great counter. Great counter by the Swiss Superman. And Strowman landed hard on his head, having to pull himself up using the ropes. Oh, Cesaro sends him off the ropes. Arm drag. And once again, Cesaro trying to take down the big man by breaking every limb. And Cesaro wrenching on that arm. Oh, Strowman meets him with a headbutt. Braun Strowman, we're now down in the last 10 minutes of this match. Cesaro, oh, launching Strowman into the air with a massive uppercut. This could be it. One, two, oh, and a kick out by Strowman. Like I said, both these men are just two single stars trying to vie for position here in the DCW Universe Mode ranks. Cesaro will do anything to try and stay in the rankings for the title. Again, trying to lift up Strowman, but it will not work. Strowman clobbering him like a bear. Headbutt. Jeez, this is just brutal. Braun Strowman sending him into the corner. Cesaro's going to have to look for a big opening here in order to put down Strowman. Oh, Cesaro may have just found it. Cesaro... 
Oh, double axe handle met with a punch to the gut. Strowman again, maybe trying to put him away. Cesaro on wobbly legs. Cesaro trying to fight back. Oh, Strowman, great counter, forearm smash, clothesline, and Strowman staggering on his legs. Both men may be out of breath. Cesaro meeting him with a kick to the gut. Oh, neck breaker. Great counter by Strowman. Oh my god! Holy crap! Holy crap! What was that? Strowman just freaking knocks Cesaro out with that huge shot up into the air. I don't even know what you call that. Strowman, though, running power slam. I know that move. What the heck was that? Strowman into the cover. Strowman picks up the win. What kind of strike was that? He freaking like winded it up. He baseball bat swung and launched Cesaro up into the air, much like Cesaro did to Strowman here. Well, regardless of what the heck that move was, Strowman used it to pick up the win after hitting that huge strike and then this running power slam. Good effort by Cesaro, but Braun Strowman, the monster among man, stands tall here tonight at the bro down. What a match. We could be looking at our next number one contender in Braun Strowman here. And wait, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the fiend! The fiend! Sister Abigail! Bray Wyatt's fiend! has attacked his former Wyatt family brethren. The monster among men just picked up a win and is immediately met by this monster. Look at him, look at him. The Fiend. Oh no, he's listening to the gloves. The gloves tell him to hurt the mandible claw. Oh my God, the Fiend Bray Wyatt has debuted here at DCW and he has attacked Braun Strowman. This monster has now been unleashed on the universe mode. Who knows what he could do? But if he could take out a guy like Braun Strowman that easily, imagine what he could do to the rest of the DCW roster. Oh my god. The Fiend Bray Wyatt making a huge impact. We thought Braun Strowman was the most dominant superstar in DCW right now, but I think another person has just laid claim to that moniker. And his name is Bray Wyatt. No, let me correct myself. His name is The Fiend. Well, yowie wowie, what a moment there. The Fiend Bray Wyatt making his presence known at DCW, all the arena watching. And you know who else was watching? This woman, the newest member of the DCW Women's Division. Ladies and gentlemen, Asuka will be coming to the NXT Universe mode very, very soon. And she is definitely going to be watching this next matchup. The DCW Women's Championship is on the line. Bianca Belair defends the title against Shayna Baszler. Many people believe that back in the NXT Universe mode, Shayna Baszler could have easily been beaten by Bianca Belair, but before Shayna Baszler left NXT, Bianca Belair never got a chance to face off against her truly, so uh, this will be a very interesting test here tonight. Now, Bianca Belair and Shayna Baszler, two women who are not really liked by uh, a lot of the audience, but uh, it's kind of the lesser of two evils here. Uh, let me know in the comments. I mean, who would you rather want as your DCW Women's Champion? Bianca Belair or Shayna Baszler? Let me know. Ooh, no. Well, it seems as though Asuka is left ringside here. Uh, she will not be watching the rest of this matchup here out in the arena. But Shayna Baszler, ooh, man. May definitely give her a reason to watch this. Shayna Baszler, a very brutal comp combatant for Bianca Belair. This is definitely a different style than what Bianca Belair is used to. Shayna Baszler, an MMA-style fighter, not really a sports entertainer. She's just all about getting in the ring and beating the living crap out of you. And it's exactly what she's doing to Bianca Belair here tonight. This could be an absolute mugging of the DCW Women's Champion. 
This could be a record matchup here. Actually, no. I think the record for quickest match still belongs to Goldberg. But Shayna Baszler, look at that! She's just taking Bianca Belair to town right now. And look at this wrenching on the arm of Bianca Belair. Shades of her four horsewomen uh, com uh, teammate, Ronda Rousey, who, remember, is also signed to the DCW Universe mode. Imagine if Shayna Baszler wins the championship here and then goes on to, at some point, face Ronda Rousey. The Queen of Spades staring at the EST, who just thankfully moved out of the way of an elbow drop. It's very telling of Shayna Baszler. She's been using all these MMA-style strikes and takedowns, but the second she tries to do a professional wrestling move like an elbow drop, she immediately fails. Perhaps she should stick to her own style. Look at that. Even a drop kick. She fails on the drop kick. But these forearms, she's good at them. Look at this judo throw. I think she even grabbed Bianca Belair by the hair when she did that judo throw. It's hard to tell. We don't have replay right now. Ooh. And Bianca Belair trapped in the corner by Shayna Baszler. Baszler landing, clubbing blows on the chest. Ooh. And a shot to the gut. Baszler, once again, now choking Bianca Belair in the ropes. Ref, what are you doing? Apparently, the referees don't know how to count to five for a five count, but they know how to count to ten for a count out. I don't get it. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Baszler. Baszler once again targeting the arms of Bianca Belair. That's where all of her strength comes from. Oh, stomping on the arm of Bianca Belair. And Belair has to use her arms to lift you up for the KOD. You take out the arms, you take out one of her biggest finishing maneuvers. Ooh, hip toss. Shayna Baszler. The crowd booing Baszler out of the arena right now. And look at this, Baszler again, stomping on the arms. Oh my god. Shayna Baszler. I think at this point, it's not even about if Bianca Belair can win. It's about if she can survive or not sustain an injury in this matchup before it's over. Whether she wins or loses, Baszler just punishing Bianca Belair. And somehow, some way, the EST able to slip out the back. Bianca Belair's attire resembling that of a Bumblebee. Well, tonight she's going to have to fight like Bumblebee, the Transformer. She's going to have to transform all this pain and punishment that Baszler's putting on her into a victory. Bianca Belair takes her over. Fireman's carry. Clotheslining Baszler out of the ring. And Baszler's head and chest hit hard on the mat below. And Bianca Belair still somehow has a little bit of strength, but not enough. Shayna Baszler able to slip out the back and deliver a DDT. And Shayna Baszler on the floor. Gut wrench suplex. Flips over. Going to deliver a second gut wrench suplex. Bam! Bianca Belair. This is a, a title matchup. I thought Shayna Baszler was going to try and get a count out win there. Like in any kind of wrestling sport, you cannot win the championship via count-out or disqualification unless you're Christian. Ooh, Baszler with a nice neck breaker. And once again, going back to these mounding punches to the face of Bianca Belair. Shayna Baszler showing no remorse here against Bianca Belair. Boot right to the face, and Belair just toppled over. Baszler, just put her away. Oh, uh-oh. Once again, trying to deliver these knee strikes to the face of Bianca Belair. Belair's out on her feet. Another knee strike to the face. Oop, spins her around. Back suplex. Belair able to flip out. Oh, Belair finds an opening knee. Lifting her up and then slamming her down right on the knee. Belair finds an opening up to the top rope. She goes Shayna Baszler though with a knee right to the chest This is dangerous high-risk territory here for both women Belair in trouble gut wrench suplex by Baszler off the top rope the EST landing with a thud This could be it new champion. Oh But Belair stays alive but for how much longer?
Jeez, it's still crazy to think how early we are into this matchup. And yet it could be over in a blink. Belair spins her around, shot to the gut. Baszler gonna try and lock it in. Oh no, there it is. Clutching her opponent by the neck. Belair is fading, look how close she is. Look how close, oh my God, oh my God, this is it. No, Belair, holy crap. Holy cow, Belair somehow able to get enough breath. Shots to the kidney. Oh, and a sharp elbow to the nose. That could be a broken nose there. Belair using the hair. Beware the hair of Belair. Shayna Baszler. Brutal strike there by Belair. And Belair's starting to get back into this fight. She's starting to string together some moves. Atta girl, Belair. Boom. Right to the gut. Baszler's down to one knee. Shoulder tackle. Belair trying to shake some life back into her arm. Oh, can she do it? Yes, she can. She's got her up. The queen of spades goes splat on the mat. Belair trying to keep the title in her grasp. Sending her into the corner. Baszler with a sharp elbow of her own. Baszler sending Belair to the corner now. And now Baszler on the middle rope. Uh-oh. Oh no, and now just wrenching back on the neck. She's up off the ground. My goodness, Belair just felt all that punishment. And now Baszler again lining her up for another Koji clutch. Oh, Belair, great counter. Forearm to the face. Baszler staggered. Baszler counters. Shot to the gut. Baszler, not able to block the knee. Bianca Belair, elbows to the head by Baszler. Baszler. Oh, Bianca, great counter again. Counter after counter after counter. Bianca, glam slam. Shades of Beth Phoenix, cover one. Oh, and a kick out by Baszler at one after the glam slam. A maneuver adopted by Bianca Belair from the repertoire of Beth Phoenix. And Belair, oh, shot to the kidney. Oh, or shot to the ribs, I should say. Baszler, not worried about the cover, though. Oh, kick to the head. Baszler, again, using those MMA-style strikes and submissions to try and win this match. Bianca Belair. Now set up on the top rope. Baszler has a position again. Whoa, what is this? Oh, Belair! No matter what it was, counters, big splash off the second rope. And Belair sees an opening. She's going to try and put the exclamation point. Here we go. 450 splash on to Baszler. Come on, make the pin. Cover for the title. Two. No! Wait, what? Belair just let her up. Belair, I, that's the wrong replay, but Belair just let Baszler out. I think she's gonna try and go for the KOD. She's gonna try and put her away with that KOD. This is it. Oh, she got her up. Oh no, Baszler. Oh, she wasn't even able to lift her up into the traditional position. She had her in like a fireman's carry. Baszler again, right back to these strikes to the head. And Bianca Belair, now in big trouble. Armbar, remember the hurt arms of Belair. She was able to shake some feeling back into her arms earlier, but can she do it again? Oh, it looks like she can. She's positioning out of it. Oh, straight shots of her own. Right on the jaw of Baszler. Forearm. Bianca Belair could be closing in on a win. Oh, oh no! Met with a DDT in the corner. And the corners of the ring are the hardest parts of the ring. Un besides the apron, they are one of the hardest parts of the ring. And Belair just got driven head first. And now, oh, Baszler had her scouted for the Koji Clutch. Bulldog by Belair. Oh my goodness. Belair. Trying everything she can to shake some feeling back into her arms. She's poised in the corner. Perhaps for a spear. Here we go, spear! But how much pain did that do on her arms? Cover one, two, 
Oh, and a kick out by Baszler. Perhaps not able to put enough, enough stank behind that spear with the injured arms. I wondered how much pain it would cause to Belair's arms. I don't think she's worried about the pain of her arms. I think she's worried about losing the championship here tonight to Shayna Baszler. And that's definitely a possibility here with all the impact she's taking right now. Bianca Belair knocked to the floor. The Queen of Spades could rule her kingdom of the DCW Women's Division if she can defeat Bianca Belair here tonight. And it looks like that might be the case. Oh, Belair trying to battle back. Look at this, Belair positioning Shayna Baszler. What is this? Oh, ramming her into the ring post. What is Belair thinking here? Belair eyeing the ring post again. Power bomb. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, a power bomb into the ring post and then onto the floor. Referees at a count of seven. Belair breaks the count. She will not l win this matchup via a count out. She wants to beat Shayna Baszler in the ring, fair and square. And Bianca Belair dragging her back into the ring. Belair, look at this. Look at the time. Look how much time has passed in this matchup. We could go all the way. Here we go. Hair whip. Belair, great counter. Shot to the gut by Baszler. Here we go. Gut wrench suplex. And then she's going to flip over again. Another gut wrench on the way. Flips her over. And then directly into the pin. Two. Oh, a kick out. Baszler still shocked. Uh, Bianca Belair is able to keep fighting. As am I. Oh, Belair trying everything to stay alive. Kick to the gut by Baszler. Oh, great counter by Bianca Belair. Back and forth counters. No woman is able to stick a move here right now. Jeez, it is reversal after reversal here. And Belair finally able to hit some strikes on Shayna. And Shayna down. Bianca Belair barely fell to a knee. And now is in position again for another spear. Can she line it up with some more stank? There's the stank! Lining her up and taking her out. And Belair has her in position for a 450 splash. Can she try and hit it again? This may be it. No, Baszler. Baszler getting back to her feet. And Belair. Oh, tried for the Hurricane Rana. Baszler wisely sliding out of the ring, out of the way. Baszler has her well scouted. Here we go, again. This is a Kirafuna clutch. Locking the legs around the hips. Bianca Belair's in trouble. Can she break out? Can she break out? Shots to the kidneys. Belair, Belair, Belair. This may be it, one, two. No, oh, I kick out. Belair, big desperation splash onto Baszler. Could this be all? Bianca Belair trying to put her away. Oh, Shayna Baszler, shot to the kidney. Oh, Baszler, gut wrench powerbomb. Cover one, two, no, another. Wow, wow, this time Baszler. Letting Bianca Belair get up. And Baszler having to go out and get Bianca Belair from off the floor. Oh! Slap to the face by Belair. That knocked Baszler off her feet. Belair again lining her up for a power bomb. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out! Oh, into the apron! And then swings her around again into the apron. Like I said earlier, it's one of the hardest parts of the ring. And Bianca Belair, man, just suckered Shayna Baszler in there. Bianca just mouthing off at Baszler. Baszler's out on her feet. Lifts her up. That's it. This is it. K.O.D. on her neck. Look at the replay. K.O.D. onto her neck. This is it. Belair into the cover. One, two, and the three. Bianca Belair laughing away at the Queen of Spades. Still, 
your DCW Women's Champion, the EST of DCW, Bianca Belair. So many high impact moves in this matchup. Bianca Belair withstood it all, and she stood tall and did it her way to retain her championship over Shayna Baszler here tonight. What an effort by Bianca Belair, and it pays off in the end. Still, your DCW Women's Champion. A lot of great action here at the Bro Down. What an incredible matchup, but we're not done yet. One more match, this time for the World Heavyweight Championship. Matt Riddle versus Johnny Gargano. Matt Riddle stepped up on the debut episode of DCW to be Johnny Gargano's first opponent for the DCW World Heavyweight Championship. And out here tonight, the two squaring off, taunting each other before battle. And here we go, the first lockup. This is going to be very telling of who comes out ahead in this matchup. We have not seen a title change yet here tonight. Could it be a trifecta of champions retention here? Matt Riddle shoving Johnny Gargano into the corner. And Johnny Gargano is ring attire colored in yellow and orange. The colors of uh, tonight's show, the bro down. But perhaps it reflects the fiery anger that Johnny Gargano possesses towards Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle, Johnny Gargano believes that Matt Riddle over the past couple of weeks has been trying to get into his head leading into this matchup here at the Bro Down. Oh, Gargano trying to get into the mind of Matt Riddle. Riddle with a kick to the head. And Matt Riddle, oh, oh kick to the skull. Gargano shoves him off. Matt Riddle reverses. Kick to the leg. Oh, Matt Riddle looking for a quick roll up pin. Cover. Oh, and that's how quick either of these superstars could become DCW World Champion. My God, Matt Riddle. Imagine what a contest this is going to be. Super kick countered by Matt Riddle. Gargano going to try and lock in the Gargano escape or hit him with that super kick. Matt Riddle going to try and lock in the bro mission or put him away with the bro Derek. Oh, super kick caught again by Matt Riddle. Oh, and Riddle. Slamming the elbow down onto that knee. Johnny Gargano came into this universe mode as the world's champion. He would like to remain that way for just a little bit longer. His first big contest here in the form of the original bro, Matt Riddle. The king of bros, Matt Riddle. And Riddle is not going to go lightly. Matt Riddle is young blood here. We have never seen this one-on-one -on -one matchup between these two. And I have no doubt tonight will not disappoint. This is our main event of the evening. A 30-minute time limit for the DCW World title. Matt Riddle. Kind of similar vein as to what we saw with the DCW Women's Champion. Holy crap, the ropes. The ropes caught up in the face of Matt Riddle. A similar vein into what we saw earlier. Gargano and Riddle once again squaring off, staring at each other. Riddle daring Gargano to come at him. And the battle continues inside the squared circle. But like I was saying, similar styles between Matt Riddle and uh, Shayna Baszler from earlier. Both trying to work on their strikes. Gargano more of a wrestling technical style. Ooh, but Matt Riddle able to muscle him over with that T-bone suplex. That exploder suplex. And Matt Riddle... Kind of reminds me of Tarzan. Who knows, maybe uh, I'll ask him if he can wear an attire that makes him look like Tarzan. But Matt Riddle following Gargano out to the floor. A lot of brutal moves you can hit out here. And that exploder suplex is definitely one of them. And Matt Riddle. Why do we have an empty announcer's table? I just realized that. Oh, Gargano. Oh, flipping out of the powerbomb. Great counter by Gargano. Can't pin your opponent out there, though, Gargano. This isn't false count anywhere. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a time limit. And Gargano with a double axe handle off the apron. Gargano trying to find an opening here against Matt Riddle. Oh, and he caught him with a dive. Looked like he caught him on the knee, caught him on the leg, and yep, Matt Riddle grabbing at his leg. That's one of the disadvantages to not wearing 
not wearing shoes, protection for your legs. It's going to be an easy target. Oh, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle lifting him up into a powerbomb. Oh, I think I realize why we have that extra table so I can take punishment like that. A powerbomb into the top of the announcer's table from Matt Riddle. And could we be closing in on a new DCW World Champion in the form of the King of Bros? Oh my god, to the spine of Johnny Gargano. Matt Riddle went flying off the top rope. But is this it? Cover on Gargano, can he kick out? Two, and a kick out by Gargano. Jeez. First the impact onto the spine with that power bomb into the announcer's table, and then Riddle launching himself off the top rope and now continuing the punishment with these running protons. Matt Riddle wants that DCW world title. I mean, everybody wants the DCW world title. That's what DCW is all about, having the best of the best compete against each other. Superstars from WWE, NXT, AEW, New Japan, everywhere, around the world, battling to be world champion. And that's what moves like that from Gargano are going to prove, that you're the best. But those kinds of moves got to keep your opponent down. Gargano laying out Riddle with a super kick. And now is poised on the apron for the slingshot spear. But caught him barely. And both men are down. I think Gargano connected with Matt Riddle's knee. And it just kneed him right in the skull. Yep. And you can tell. Look at that. Matt Riddle was the first one to recover from that move. Gargano was the one that hit the move. And now look at this. Matt Riddle with another knee right on the face of Gargano. And Gargano could be in trouble here. Matt Riddle trying to go for the bro Derek. Gargano able to counter. Oh, knocks him off. Oh, knocks him off the apron. Tope Suicida through the ropes. Taking out the original bro. And Matt Riddle could be on wobbly legs here. Gargano trying to put him away quickly. A suicide dive to the outside, and Gargano sees that Matt Riddle is in position for something big. We know what's coming. Here we go. Shot to the gut. Lines him up. Slingshot. DDT has him down for the count. Count it, ref. Two. No, a kick out by Riddle. Jeez. Gargano just tried his best shot, and it didn't do anything. He's going to try another. Lining him up. Here we go. Super kick. No, Matt Riddle. Oh, my God. With a knee to the skull. Flying knee strike. Oh, and again. The final flash. Could this be a flash into the future of our new world champion? No. Matt Riddle not able to put away Gargano yet. Gargano stays alive. Matt Riddle daring Gargano to get back to his feet. Matt Riddle, oh, huge pump strikes. Oh, and follows it up with a kick to the head. But strikes like that, you got to wonder how much punishment it does to Matt Riddle's legs. Oh, my God. And then follows it up with a slap in the corner. And that just pissed Gargano off. Look at this. Gargano coming right at Matt Riddle. Look at this. Rolling him up, spin through, kick to the head. Riddle retreating to the corner. Gargano with a fiery anger in him again. Lifting up Riddle. Lawn darting him into the corner. Matt Riddle is in trouble. Gargano lining him up. What's he going for here? He's on the apron again. Perhaps for the slingshot spear? No. Roll through. Neck breaker. Wow. Wow. Never seen that move out of Gargano before. Gargano now up to the top rope. Oh, frog splash! Countered! Countered by Riddle! Riddle has an opening! What's he going for here? Oh, no way! No way! Shout out to you, bro! Jackhammer! Shades of Goldberg! Riddle! Cover! Two! And a kick out by Gargano! Wow! Riddle thought he could put away Gargano with a knee with a neat little jackhammer. Shades of Goldberg, but still not enough. 
But the question lies, who's next to try and hit another impact move, a high impact move? It's going to be Riddle. Huge kick off the ropes. Riddle thought he put him away with the jackhammer, but Gargano is staying alive. And so Riddle goes back to his hard strikes. And now Riddle has Gargano on wobbly legs. Bro to sleep. Falls it up. German suplex directly into a pin. Gargano's shoulders are down. Riddle kicks out. Or Gargano kicks out, I should say. Sorry, the action's just way too fast to call right now. My God. Oh, German suplex again. Gargano able to counter. Oh, Gargano. Back suplex. Very nice. Gargano trying to keep that title in his grasp. Gargano, the first ever DCW World Champion. He would like to keep it that way. Matt Riddle meets him with a kick to the head. My phone just went off. But it doesn't matter. Matt Riddle logging in the bro mission. This could be it. Oh, Gargano trying to fight. Gargano trying to fight. Gargano trying to fight. Oh, yeah, he's able to fight out of it. Matt Riddle not able to hold on the bro mission. My phone is blowing up with people predicting the outcome of this match. Gargano finally able to get an advantage, putting Matt Riddle, it looks like, on the top rope. A high rank district here. Riddle is in big trouble. Gargano looking for a back suplex. Oh, and they both crash and burn to the mat. Matt Riddle landing on top of Gargano. The ribs may be crushed. And look at this. Matt Riddle with a barrage of knees. And Gargano seems to be busted open. I saw a flash of red on the screen. And yep, he's grabbing at his face. Riddle not letting up. Knee to the head. Punt, kick. The kick is good. But is it good enough to win him the world title? Riddle kicks to the chest. Gargano is defenseless. A kick to the skull. That's a concussion just waiting to happen. Gargano's got to do something to stay alive here. Riddle just continuing on with these clubbing blows. Driving Gargano into the corner. Oh, kick to the leg. Gargano's now in the corner. Kicks to the ribs again. Matt Riddle with a knee to the back of the skull. Matt Riddle not taking Johnny Gargano lightly. He can't. Johnny Gargano will never say die. Riddle, power bomb. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe a bro to sleep. No, Matt Riddle's back gave out. Gargano doing too much damage to the back, it seems. Gargano and Riddle trading blows. Riddle's up against the ropes. Off the ropes. And they just collide. Oh, my God! And Riddle's foot just collided with Gargano's head. This could be it. One, two. Oh, a kick out by Gargano again. Jeez, we are starting to get towards a point in the match where they're just starting to throw bombs at each other. Jeez. I don't think a friggin' runaway truck could be enough to put down these two men right now. Riddle, deadlift, lifting up Johnny Gargano into a German suplex. Gargano collapsing in a heap in the corner. And Matt Riddle looks poised for something. He's shaking his head, saying, Gargano, please just stay down. But you know Johnny Gargano is not going to quit. Gargano still stirring. Matt Riddle has him lined up. Gargano crawling towards Riddle into a knee. Right to the skull. And another one. Is that the final flash here in this match? Matt Riddle could be lining him up for the bro, Derek. Here we go. Lifting him up. Tombstone style. Bro, Derek. The bro, Derek. And could that be the prelude to our new DCW champion? One, two, no, a kick out by Gargano. Matt Riddle is in complete shock. So is everybody in this arena. Riddle doesn't know what to do. He's going to go to the top. Could we be looking for another? Another high fly move. He nails it again. This time to the front of Johnny Gargano. Another cover. Another pin. And this time, no. I was going to say this time it puts down Gargano. But yet again, the DCW World Champion kicks out. But will he be champion for long? That's the question.
How far is he willing to go? Gargano able to slip out the back. Gargano is a bloody mess. Super kick to Riddle. And another one. Gargano. Reverse Rana. Riddle freaking went head first into the canvas. Gargano's. Gargano's lining him up. Super kick right on the jaw. Cover on Riddle. One, two, and a three. Gargano retains the world title over Matt Riddle after a stellar contest here. That was one hell of a bro down. Look at this knee right to the skull. Matt Riddle was holding nothing back in this matchup. Neither was Johnny Gargano. Finally able to put away Matt Riddle. Two super kicks to the jaw. Reverse Rana. And then right into the kneeling super kick. Look at that. Even a jackhammer. Matt Riddle, a little shout out to his bro Goldberg. Johnny Gargano is still your DCW World Champion. My goodness. If this is a if this is a glimpse into what Johnny Gargano is gonna do as champion, I cannot wait. What? Wait a minute! Oh my god! Oh my god! John Moxley! John Moxley! AEW's John Moxley! Well, it seems like community creation is supposed to be working now because AEW's first. John Moxley is the first AEW superstar to reveal themselves on DCW, attacking that referee, and now Gargano staggering into a paradigm shift onto the steel chair. A paradigm shift onto the edge of that chair. John Moxley revealing himself here at the bro down attacking the DCW world champion this has just opened up a whole new world to Johnny Gargano he thought that the only people who would be facing were people like Matt Riddle no you got people coming at you from different sides from everywhere from different companies and John Moxley is a perfect example John Moxley is here in DCW and he wants that world title